Okay, so the factored form of this should look like this. Okay, there's my factored form. What is the pure, what is the vertical shift of this function? Down one. What's the amplitude? The amplitude. Three. Okay. What is the phase shift? I went left pi over three. And what is the period of this function? Four pi. Right, it's going to be the period is equal to 2 pi divided by half. That is 4 pi. Okay, so I have all four parts that I need to start graphing this. Okay, so I need to then figure out how am I going to graph this. Okay, so when you do your, your horizontal shift, you have to account for your period. So, for example, if I drew my x-axis here and said this is negative pi over 3 right here, can I fit 4 pi into my graph? How many of those pi over 3 pieces fit into 4 pi? 12. I'm not going to fit 12 in there. Okay, so I have, to, I have to make sure that when I graph my function, that I can show my shifts. So I'm going to do that about pi over 3 right about here. And I'm going to say that's, uh, well, actually, I'm going to do this. Is that going to be enough? Okay, I'm going to do pi over 3 right about here. I'm going to say that's about pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi. Okay, so make sure that you're scaling. Make sure that your scaling is appropriate. So there's my first, there's my starting point. Where am I going to end? What's the coordinate that I'm ending at? What is negative one third plus four? 3 and 2 thirds pi, so right about here. Okay, make sure that you can label that point, 3 and 2 thirds pi. I prefer improper fractions. What's that as an improper fraction? 11 pi over 3. Okay, where's my vertical middle? My vertical middle is down 1. Okay. When I do my sh vertical shift, I have to account for my amplitude. I have to be able to fit an amplitude of 3. So if I went put my middle here as negative 1, I don't have enough room to fit my negative 3 down here. Or down 3. So I'm going to make my vertical shift right about here. And negative 1. Negative 2. I've got to go down a bit further. Negative 3 negative four. So you kind of need to plan this out when you're gra when you're drawing the when you're putting in your axes. Okay, you will have to scale your own axes. Which is in some ways a good thing because you can adjust your scale whatever way you want. Okay, so I've got my start, my end, my middle. I've I've counted for my amplitude. I just need to draw the function in now. Does sine start in the middle, or does it <coughs> does it do does it go uh, start at the vertex? Starts in the middle. So I'm going to start here. Now the problem is I forgot that it's going backwards. That I I need to go like that. So how would I go? What does it look like going to the right? I really should have drawn it the other way drawn it so I can do my axis so I can draw it that way. So now I have to consider what does it look like when I draw it in this direction? Is it going to go down or up? 
Look at the blue part of that graph. If you were to follow with it, it's going to go down or up? To the right? Down. Down. Yeah, definitely down. Right? So I'm going to go, there's my starting point. Okay, I need to break up my quadrants here. What's halfway between 11 and negative 1? Right about there. Okay, what's halfway between negative 1 third and positive 11 thirds? It's 5 thirds. Okay. Okay, what's halfway between 5 and 11? What's the middle of 5 and 11? 5 plus 11 divided by 2 is? 8. Okay, 8 thirds. Uh, 8 thirds is going to be right about here. Okay, and what's halfway between negative 1 and 5? It's going to be? Okay, again, you guys, if you can't work this out in your head, get a scrap piece of paper and start doing the fraction arithmetic. Okay, what's halfway between negative 5 and negative 1 and positive 5? What's negative 1 plus 5 divided by 2? 2 thirds. Okay, so there's my quadrants. I'm going to go down, back to the middle, up to how high am I going to go? Up to three and back. Uh, oh, right, that's right. So it's going to go to two. Okay, so there's my graph. It's going to go down. Okay, so there's one period. Uh, if you were, if you planned this out better, you may have wanted to move your x-axis to the to the left, to the right, and planned on graphing it backwards from right to left. Okay. That said, it's probably easier to just remember that if you're drawing a backward sign graph, instead of going up, you're going to go down. Okay. A negative negative sine x is the same as negative sine x. It's a, ver a horizontal flip is the same as a vertical flip for sine. Okay, so I need to still label my min and max. Uh, what did we say this coordinate was? I forget. It was 8. Is that correct? And my min coordinate is at 2 pi over 3, negative 4. So you got 2 because like, if you look at the original sum, that was going to be negative 1. 3 times negative 1. Uh, try to think of this way. We started the, our middle is negative one. We're going to go up three units. Oh, okay. right. That's a much easier way to, to look at that.